All right, this uh, video is not going to be at steady. Now, they do have a couple of dings and dents in some of these rims. I know, I didn't tell you what they're for yet. A lot of them are in really good shape. They had tons of these. I mean, a lot. But look, at that tread. That's a tread that's almost like brand new. Some of them are, all the other ones are wore down a little bit. And this one's a really good tread, that tread. This is, when it's flat, it's no air in it. And, and this and some of these, they got pumped up too much. But anyway. I just noticed some of you. They're all the same, but this tire and rim is this eight inch rim, and that's an eight inch rim. So I can take this tire right off and put it right on that rim. These are actually 18. 18 inches tall, eight and a half inches, eight and a half inches wide by eight inches. And these are, because it's not going to be a mud mower, it's gonna, I want it to be safe for the kids. And they're 20. Twenty ten by eight, should be. Twenty ten by eight, yep. But you can see this tire, this tire is all cracked and dry rotted, so. Actually, that is actually good. So, go put the set of them on the back, and then the back might be setting down a little bit. So, I'm going to change the front ones out. It's only, uh, two inches difference. So, it's a one inch. It'd be one inch, it'd be one inch lower in the rear. But I'm thinking about, that's what I said, taking these tires. Anyway, I got interrupted. I'm going to take these tires off. These tires are, I'm just trying to get the little lower and not so much grip. I want it to slide more. These are a five. So 15 uh, by 6, so we need to drop one inch or more. And I was going to put these tires, the back tires, I got to pump that one up. But I think these are 15 too. No, it'll work. That's a 13, 13 by, 13 by 5 by 6. I'll put them on the front with the other ones on the back. It drop it roughly one inch. Cause you can see that's actually I don't know how good you guys are seeing that. But the tire itself, it's right here, it's starting to crack real bad. Well if you look right here, look I can go like that and the rubber's just falling off. So we'll take them rims, take a set of these tires, put on them rims, change the front rims out, and then the rest of these rims and tires, I want, I want to take them and put them on that barbecue grill that you've seen out there. It'd be easier to push around. I just got to make the hubs and all. So, I thought it was a pretty good find for a day. Uh, uh, the only bad thing I went to uh tractor supply which I buy all my stuff and you gotta watch it you guys go tractor supply I mean the one uh, the young boy up there he must be new or something he didn't pay attention I told him they were grade five which these are grade five guys guys but he started ringing, he, he rung them up. I was like, whoa, how much is that a...
A pound, he gets $6 something a pound. I said, no, no, that ain't right. They're only $3.49 per But this is a half inch, so the 5 beats wouldn't work. Can you see it? It's got a little bit of plate. I could drill them out, but I figured I'd get that. And I got lock washer and regular washers over here. Just for the lawnmower. I can't believe how hot it is out here, guys. It is crazy hot. But that's what I plan on doing. I might try might try to pop one of them off and see if I can get the tire off. But if I do, I'll, I'll show it to you. Okay, this video is not going to be too long. I'm already out of breath. It's like 100 and some degrees, it feels like. But anyway, uh, crap. here's the, the one from the Walmart. Here's the other one. Look at it. This one might be a quarter inch water, but it'll work. Now, if I put this up against it, I thought it's two inches by what it says, but look. That might be two inches, but looks a lot different from me. But anyway, so now we're going to try to put it on this rim and pump it up. So that's what I'm going to do, and I'll show it to you. I'll put it on there. Probably only one a day. Okay, okay. I know I said I wasn't going to do it on this video, but man, I had to see it done. I know it's like over 100, probably 100 degrees in the shop. Well, there's 80, so it's like 90, and inside here it's like 100 degrees, so. But anyway, got them on there. Now we just got to change the front ones out, make little ones on the front. It'll be a per it's going to be a perfect little go kart. I got to make a seat so it's not adjustable. They look like they're really wide too. It looks it makes it look pretty wild. Now you could you I guess you could uh lower the front if you really wanted to uh by welding another take a taking a weld and a nut from here out straight out that would lower it but I'm gonna put a little tires on it so I'll try so you never know we might even little teeny ones might even work they fit on there they might I don't know might have to go see Okay, I got them on there. I'll, I once I switched out the the front. I took the littlest. I don't know, the, something on this camera or something. It's blurry. Let's see if we can find something to wipe it. Okay, now it's working better. I don't know how long that was, but anyway, I took the little teeny tires and put them on the front. Them, they were way, way too small. What I'm going to end up doing, might keep these tires on the front for the go-kart for them. But I'll come in here, I'll, I'll come in here and cut this. Cut it right here and raise this up. To level it out a little bit more, or to drop the front end down. So if I cut that and raise that up two inches... Now, the only problem I'm going to have when I do that, this bar right here is, will be fine. Should be. Now, I'm thinking something else. This, this bar, if I cut it back here, 
actually if I just cut it back here and welded it to the frame and made the it solid without moving that would work too like cut it here and just put this one on the outside or move it in put it on the outside of the frame that'll work because this it's going to get rid of a lot of this on the bottom then all this could go away because I'm ready I'm welding this straight like but anyway then I got to take this and flip it put this on top turn that around put a key on top of that so that I think that's what we're gonna do we're gonna make this like a real go-kart we're gonna cut these bars off and weld them right in here cut that off and weld it right on there now I'll flip this over and that'd be on the bottom side. Still's turning. Yep. That's what we're going to do. I have another front end over there if we screw up. And by doing that. I could actually move tires in a little bit if I wanted to too. But. And re-weld this. Because this is bent anyway. So. Alright. I just noticed that it's bent. Probably can't tell it that much, but it is bent. Alright, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Please subscribe, and bye till later.